Okay, uh, where's the mic? Okay, you've got it. Yes, thank you. Um, my question really is, goes back to an earlier point, and it's regarding the um, ethics and economics of augmentation. I, I, I find this to be a very critical theme in Mr. Lanier's uh, books. Um, one of the beauties of technology is that um, it, it sort of mediates our perception of reality. However, with increasing mediation, uh, there's complexity and there's also uh, a danger that it's difficult to see the consequences of our, of our, our, of our actions because of this mediation. Um, and this potentially could also undermine our ability to choose and to have responsibility because of this thick layer of uh, mediation. So, based on this, uh, do we see, and I'd like to hear some discussion, is there danger of, with the march of technology, that we really contribute to the further um, concentration of wealth and knowledge and power in the hands of the very few, to the hands where, to the point where they, we have no longer have any consumers to buy our products. So I understood the question. Uh, question right? the, the question is weak about um, technology or most recent developments changing the balance of distribution of wealth. Yes. No. Sorry, it was really about the, the, the effect of most recent technology developments in, uh, in Silicon Valley on wealth, on global wealth, on, on equity in, in, in different places in the world. Um, I mean, certainly we've witnessed a divergence um, of wealth in, in this country, and I think it's a concerning development worldwide um, that has to be addressed, in my opinion, because we are clearly underutilizing our resources by giving some people enormous power and others no power at all. So, um, that's, that's certainly the case. Um, having said this, um, this goes hand in hand with the situation where also basic services are becoming more and more available for everybody. Um, so it's not that this leads to a really, I mean, it leads to a really bad situation, but it's not quite as bad as it could be if for the poorest of the poorest the situation gets worse and worse and worse and worse. And you can, I mean, a long discussion about what the implications are. I'm a big, big fan of the estate tax. I think it, this has a chance to reset. Dynasties. Oh, um, yeah, it's really important. <laughs> really important. And they're using technology to leverage what used to be held behind Stanford's walls and very inaccessible and make it available. Um, that you can turn into an amazing progress in the world. Um, not everything is peachy, obviously. But we could be use Silicon Valley to really re, re equitize the world. And, and this is. A, a beef I have with the artificial intelligence world, because if you say deciding what you should read or whatever algorithm it is, but what it does is it creates this obscurity, because if we're honest, what it is, is it's some stupid algorithm that is, I mean, none of these algorithms are that great yet. I mean, I'm very proud of what our field has done, but at the same time, we have to have some perspective and recognize that it's still pretty crude. And what we should really be doing is visualizing for people what the algorithms are doing, giving them access to understanding the mechanism as much as possible so they have an opportunity to understand their world better as Doug would have expected them to. But I want them to make visible that algorithm so people can look at the mechanism, see what the corpus is that's driving it, and, and this, you know, um, open source in itself doesn't do it. We need a new kind of computer science that visualizes and makes clear what algorithms do or else we can't use them intelligently. I mean, I think what could be more clear than that? So that's the answer to the mediation issue, I believe. Uh, more visualization or more explanation, uh, less fantasy, you know, less manipulation. And then the um, the second question about the the power distribution, of course, is tremendously concerning, and because it gave so many people the ability to have unique information powers as small players in their market, which is what capitalism is all about. When we've entered into this cloud era, where it's uh, one of our big companies that owns people's data and collates it and then gives them algorithms to guide them, people no longer own their own data. And I believe that that's been the mechanism by which technology has been hurting the middle class. That's absolutely correctable. That's an engineering issue that we can actually solve. And, I, and I, I, we have to. I mean, it's not, what we're doing is not sustainable. Which one? Me? Mm -hmm. uh, my, my name is Les Ernest, and I was a friend of Doug Engelbart back in the day. We uh, used to exchange visits to each other's labs. I was managing the Stanford Artificial Intelligence Lab. Um, I admired his work, and 
uh, the demo he gave was a good, uh, a very good presentation of the state of the art in interactive computing. However, I disagree about the appraisal of it. 